All right, so this uh, demonstration is going to cover the distance traveled program. It says the distance a vehicle travels can be calculated as follows. You got distance equals speed times time. Um, for example, if a train travels 40 miles per hour uh, for three hours, the distance traveled is 120 miles. Uh, design a class that stores the speed of a vehicle in miles per hour and the number of hours it has traveled. Demonstrate the class in a program that uses a loop to display uh, the distance a vehicle has traveled for each hour of a time period specified by the user. For example, if a vehicle is traveling at 40 miles per hour for a three hour time period, it should display a report similar to the one shown here. Uh, do not accept a negative number for speed and do not accept any value less than one for time traveled. Okay, so uh, again, I'm going to do this in here. So I create main distance traveled and uh, distance traveled class. So you guys should create this in NetBeans and program along with me, okay? So first thing I did was I import java.util.scanner so I can create that real quick. I can say scanner, my scanner equals new scanner system.in and then um, my class is called distance traveled my distance traveled is new distance okay so we need to ask the user to system System dot out dot println. Please enter the time traveled. And I don't know, maybe I just call it like, uh, I don't know, double hour equals my uh, scanner dot next double. And then we'll do a while loop while hour is less than one. You know, please enter. something like that um, okay um, now we're gonna do the same thing down here we'll say system dot out dot print um, please enter the let's look and see what it's is it just speed so we've got speed and time. Okay, so um, please enter the speed. So I don't know, double speed equals my scanner dot next int next double. I don't know, whatever you want to do there. Please enter the So while, we'll do this as well, just to make sure for error checking, while speed is less than zero,
Travel that miles per hour. And then I'm going to just do another one real quick here. Um, actually, I'm going to do it above. I'm going to say. So that does the error checking. And then what are we doing here? We're just really displaying the table again. So um, we're not really setting or, well, we're, we're just, we'll call it set, but we're not really getting anything. So we're just doing a, a mutator method to set this, this uh, sequence right here and run our loop. So I'm gonna just call it set, I don't know, set distance table. So I can just say, um, I'm going to copy that, dot set distance table, and we'll pass in the hour and the speed, okay. <coughs> So public void, we can say double here and double there. So we'll say double my speed and my hour. So my hour equals hour, and my speed equals speed. And then we can do a system.out.println with our, let's do, I'm going to just copy this table right here. So now we got to do our for loop. So um, we'll say int uh, i is equal to zero. Mm, let's set it equal to one. Because think about this if we have i is then got to be less than or equal to my hour. So we. We're not going to have uh, zero, zero times anything is going to give us, zero times anything is going to give us, um, and as a matter of fact, hours should probably just be one and not like a, a, a double. So let's do that. Let's make hour an int. Because we're going to increment by the hour, okay? So let's see here. That's an int. Uh, hours an int. So let's make that an int. Should fix all those. Um, let's see here. So we're gonna make that an int. And we'll say int my hour so int my hour double my speed so we'll say my hour and then we'll say i plus plus okay so then all we need to do is we could say let's, let's add a, a distance here we could say distance is equal to my hour times my speed. 
and then we could do a system dot out dot println. So hour would be one times forty or whatever. So then it would display um, my hour plus and then a bunch of blanks. And this is where you'd have to go back in and 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 look at that. And then we'll just say distance. Okay. And that's basically it. So this would be one, one times 40 gives us 40 right here. And so it'd be one and then 40. And then let's say hours three, okay. So then we would add one to I, I would become two. Um, actually, let me think about this. Uh, yeah, our, our my, my hour is gonna give us Mm, okay, yeah, I screwed it up. This should be I right here. Sorry about that. My hour is going to give us 3. 1 is less than 3, so 1 times 40 would be 40 right here. Then that becomes 2. 2 is less than 3. 2 times 40 is 80, so that would be 80. So you you have traveled 80 miles after 2 hours. And then we'd add one, it becomes three. Three is less than or equal to three. Three times 40 is 120. So this would be three, and then this would be 120. So uh, this is basically your program. Go through, uh, work on it, test it. Um, make sure you understand how it works, the error checking, because we got multiple while loops here. And then we got our for loop here. So that gives you some practice with the different types of loops. So. Um, go ahead, yeah, practice that, and this video should be good to go.